Okay, so you see it bottoms out there, but I didn't finish with the turnbuckle over here. So, and this could be, this is also spread more than, more than three feet, so I can get a couple of inches higher when I bring this up. But I do have an inch or two on this turnbuckle. So if I can tighten that up under load. If we can get that weight, because that would be very practical. Looks like it's up. All right, so. That's good, look at that. So now, if you imagine a farmer moving, of course this is gonna be on a slope, but this height with this configuration and a 20 kilogram bucket, if I can move that out of the way, you can imagine it's much easier to hook oneself on with a carabiner here so that one is safe, put a little safety harness so you don't slip down the mountain and do your movement using this. Now, here it's going passively. So it cleared. So the farmer doesn't have to do all that much work. Right. It's doing the 20 kg, but you could be safely hooked on. And that shows a definite success. Look at how it clears here in the middle. We're still able to clear the ground. And you can imagine now moving buckets of water to irrigate. So if this is strung out in the plantation by the little cacao trees, and there's a drought like there is right now in Sopetran, climate change is destroying the cacao industry. We don't want people to have to go back to planting cocaine. Cocaine takes four months to mature. They deforest for it, and it's a terrible drug causing all sorts of social and environmental problems. Cacao takes three years at least to mature and it needs uh, steady irrigation and the drought is destroying that and then the fungus is destroying it so cacao prices have really just skyrocketed. We don't want people to have to abandon that and go back to cocaine growing so there we go. A definite win. Certainly with 20 kilograms we are able to move goods and in the next in the next couple of days, we'll try multiple buckets once I get another trolley and see how many of uh, these we can put on the line at once so that we can see how much goods can be moved. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope you'll join us in our Solar City Solutions.